My name is Sean Cisterna. I am a uh, filmmaker from the Toronto area. I'm going to look at Josh over here. <laughs> yeah, I'm 35. I've uh, been married for about eight years or so. My high school sweetheart over here. This is Sophie. <laughs> How old is Sophie? Are you talk? Oh. Sophie's two and a half. She is our daughter. I'm Samantha Cisterna. I am a high school English teacher. My mom's name is Celine, and this will be her second vacation with us. So we're looking forward now that we've already done one vacation together when Sophie was a baby, um, that now uh, we'll be able to get away and she'll be a little bit more helpful maybe than the last vacation. We actually paid for her to come away with us when Sophie was nine months old, and the only day that she actually babysat Sophie was on our last night when she finally volunteered. We're going to make sure she understands that this time. Yes. Yeah, yeah. This time it's, it's very specific. You are here to watch our child so we can have fun. She's not getting a free ride this time. Her last right. time. We sound like we're her employers. But <laughs> we obviously have a lot of expectations for my mom because um, her she has a great relationship with Sophie and really she's the only person we trust to look after Sophie. Um, very open with each other and I try not to get angry with her but I, I we do fight a little bit or I wouldn't we argue I would say she has her quirks she's very neat I'm not so neat and she has different ideas about we get rid of that chicken. how to uh, no more dropping it. prepare things with Sophie whereas I maybe don't prepare as much as what she would like to see fun uh, no. um. Eccentric, maybe? And fun. Fun. Uh, and adventurous. Adventurous is a better word. I, I like to go out and, and explore new things, whereas you know, Samantha's more of a, a beach dweller. Um, I, I can't sit still for more than 15 minutes, so I, 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 I like to experience uh, the life and, and culture of everywhere we go. So I would say, I would say what <laughs> Sean likes to call adventure, I would say it's his inability to relax. Listen, we cannot have the chicken. There's the okay. pony though. There's the pony. Have the pony. Go sit over there then. You want to go sit over there with the Mom! <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. The chicken will go in the garbage. <laughs> Dad. We have a garbage chicken. Okay. What was your question? Uh, I, I have a very stress filled job, I think, and uh, I, I need a lot of time to finish my projects, and she is a, a time consumer. Um, so I often am, am balancing, uh, you know, delivering projects with, with reading books about teddy bears and chickens. Right, right. I think Sean, because of his line of work, he's so structured and organized and that comes into our family life and it doesn't always work that way. <laughs> Can we talk about the trip in Jamaica? <laughs> well, sure. We actually did do a biking trip. My mom came and she watched Sophie on the bus while Sean and I biked. And then there was a uh, place where we stopped to go into a waterfall. So I wanted my mom to come and experience that. Not, you know, just be with my daughter on the bus the whole time. So Sean wanted to experience it too, but uh, what I thought was that I was taking my mom into the water. Sean came into the water too, and he gave Sophie to somebody he thought was with the organization. And it was just some random Jamaican fellow who happened to be walking. And yeah, so he was holding our nine-month-old daughter, and we're just lucky he didn't walk away with her. Yeah, too. <laughs> <laughs> Turks and Caicos is known for diving, so there's a fan they say it's like the best diving in the world. So I've already got my underwater camera all packed and prepared. I'm sure there's an aquarium from what I've read, like a... <laughs> there's a whole ocean. No, no, but I mean there's a huge indoor aquarium that we can take Sophie uh. to as, you know, a filler for one day. Yeah. Sean's very interested in his trip. <clears throat> it sounds to me like he's taking a separate trip for us. <laughs> I'm currently making a, a documentary, so I know how um, invasive a camera can be. I think it's maybe a little karmic that I can now point the camera at my own family and feel what other like my, my subjects usually feel. So I think I, I know where I can spot tension and, um, and conflict and those interesting moments. Definitely, and I love the fact that he won't have control of what is edited, so I can include a lot of footage of him in the moment so he can sort of see, you know, what I'm seeing from my perspective. Oh. 